Hello, top two mass number one. Awesome one M. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Yomi. My name is Yomi. I make college art and travel related videos. For this summer, I am living abroad in a country called Vanuatu, where they speak a language called Bislama. I speak a little bit of five different languages, and for today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to tok tok Bislama, how to speak Bislama. Just know that I am not completely fluent in this language. I spent five months in the previous semester of university learning this language. It's an English Creole, so it's very easy to learn. And by the time I got here, I could already speak it very well. I just picked it up very quickly. I'm not a fluent speaker, I'm not a native speaker, but I can have full conversations in Bislama. There aren't many videos out there, and I want to teach you how to talk talk Bislama. So first off, what is Bislama? Bislama is a pidgin language, a creole language, that developed over the past few centuries, decades, um, in a process called blackbirding, where there were indentured servants from Australia, from the Solomon Islands, from Papua New Guinea, and from Vanuatu, and they were shipped off to Australia, and they developed this English creole language, went back to their own nations and spoke this language. It's a mix of different Melanesian languages, English, French, and some Polynesian languages, but most of the words are derived from the English language. First off, it's its own language. Respect the language, Bislama. It's a Creole, it's a pidgin, but it's still its own language. Um, it's not English. If you only speak English, you won't be able to understand Bislama right away. Um, when people, especially when people speak very quickly, you won't understand it. It's its own separate entity, its own language. Your ear has to be trained to listen to it, but it is an easy language to learn to use. Don't go to Vanuatu and expect to be able to speak English, because a lot of people here don't speak English, although the three official languages are English, French, and Bislama. So if you go to Vanuatu and expect to speak English, a lot of people won't understand you or a lot of people only speak a very broken elementary level of English. Um, yeah, so I learned that the hard way, coming here thinking I could speak English with some people and a lot of people didn't understand me. Um, so around 200,000 people speak Islam because Vanuatu has around 300,000 people in the population. It is mutually intelligible with a few other languages, Tok Pisin from Papua New Guinea, Torres Strait Creole from Australia, Pigeon from the Solomon Islands. If you speak Bislama, you can communicate with over 6 million people who speak a very similar language. So that's the plus. You can communicate with millions of people who you probably would not have been able to communicate with before. So what is the language situation in Vanuatu? So in Vanuatu, there are many different villages and many different tribes. There are over 100 languages. It is the most linguistically dense nation in the world. For every few thousand people, there is one language in the nation. So, um, your first language is your mother tongue. So you learn the language of your mom and dad. And if they're from two different villages or two different tribes, you may learn both of their languages. And then sometimes you end up growing up on an island that isn't where your ancestors grew up on. So if you're growing up in a village um, where your ancestors didn't grow up, you may also learn the language of that village. So your mom's language, your dad's language, and the language of the village you live in. Then you eventually learn Bislama, the English Creole that I'm gonna teach you. And then you go to school, you start school, and you either go to French school or English school, and you learn either French or English. So in some families I know, like they may send like their daughter to French school and their son to English school. So their son will speak English, their daughter will speak French, and they can't communicate with each other in, in those languages. So it's just very random. Um, so Bislam is not standardized. The spelling isn't standardized, the language isn't standardized. There are common ways to spell things, but there's no one way to spell any word. It's just based off how it sounds. Um, there's no literature no major films like there are some books and some films there's a film company but just know that Bislama doesn't have like historical literature and um, but there are some books that are starting to be made um 
it, it's also dialectical and people speak it differently depending on where they're from. So some resources um, for learning Bislama is there's a movie company called One Small Bag, which makes some movies on YouTube. Um, and you can check them out. They're funded by Australia and they're very good and they're in Bislama. There's a Bislama Wikipedia page where you can look up stuff. You can look up the name of the country you're from, U.S. presidents, um, lots of different information. The Peace Corps Handbook, which is a textbook online where you can learn Bislama. That's how I learned the language. It's very good. And then there are some online dictionaries and I bought a dictionary actually from Australia. I shipped it to the U.S. And yeah. So, to begin with, Bislama has a lot of false cognates. So, what is a false cognate, a false friend? It's a word that sounds exactly the same as in another language, but means something completely different. So in Bislama, if you say go swim, you can mean to go swim in the water, right? But you can, to go swim, to swim also means to shower. So I was sick one day in one of the villages and a lady told me to go swim to feel better. And I'm like, I don't want to swim, I don't, I don't feel good. But swim means to shower. Redhead, redhead. Redhead in Bislama, that means blonde. That means you have blonde hair. So if you are a redhead, that means you have blonde hair, you have yellow hair. Um, coffee mix. In Bislama, coffee mix, like when people give me tea mix or a tea bag, they call it coffee mix. It's not coffee. It's tea, but they call it coffee mix. So there are a lot of false friends in Bislama. So I'm gonna start off with teaching you some basics. How do you say one, two, three? One, two, three. Very simple. What is your name? One name, name blong you. One name, name blong you. One name, name blong you. What is your name? My name is name blong me. My name is name blong me. My name is Yomi. Nemblong mi Yomi. Nemblong mi Yomi. My name is Jessica. Nemblong mi Jessica. My name is Peter. Nemblong mi Pita. Uh, my name is Robert. Nemblong mi Robert. Um, how are you? Olsem wanem. How are you? Olsem wanem. Good. I'm doing good. Istre. I good. And when you say istre, just know that the T is pronounced like the what. In English, like you don't really pronounce the T, but it's still there. Istre. How are you? Also monem. Istre. I'm good. I good. Everything's good. To say okay in Muslim, you could say ale. Or you could say si. Like in Spanish, si. Ale. Or si. Um, to say goodbye, you could also say ale. Ale. Some people say ale tata. Ale tata. That means okay, bye. And then some people say tata, which is like a more of like a juvenile way of saying goodbye, like to little kids. That's what I've been told. So don't quote me on that. But usually just to say bye, you can just say ale. The same as okay. Um, where are you from? You belong where? Where are you from? You belong where? I'm from me belong. I'm from the United States. Me belong United States. Or me belong America. I'm from France. Me belong Franis. I'm from Australia. Me belong Australia. Um, so now I'm going to teach you how to say family. Family kinship terminology. So to say mom, mama. Mom, mama. Dad, papa. Dad, papa. Um, child or kid is pikinini. Child or kid is pikinini. Boy, is boy. Girl is girl. Boy is boy. Girl is girl. Son is boy blong me. Son boy blong me. Daughter girl blong me. Daughter girl blong me. Grandfather apu. Grandfather apu. Grandmother apu woman. Grandmother, apu woman. Cousin, cousin. Cousin, cousin. Brother, brata. Brother, brata. Sister, sista. Sister, sista. Sister, sister. No. Okay. <laughs> um. 
So next, I'm going to be teaching you the meaning of the words blong and long. So blong and long. Blong is the most important word I would say in Bislama. So what is blong? Blong is possessive and has many different meanings. It usually means that something belongs to you and also means the word of and also means the word for. So if I say um, like boy blong me, that means boy belonging to me, so my son. Gel blong me, girl belonging to me, so my daughter. Woman blow me, or woman blong me, is woman belonging to me, so my wife. Man blong me, man belonging to me, so husband. Um, so blong is possessive. So if I say man blong drink, man blong drink, so man belong drink, man belonging to drink, that means that you are a drunkard. You're someone who drinks a lot. So if you're man blong steel, man blong steel, man belonging to steel. Man belonging steel, a man who steals a lot, a thief. B basket is how you say bag in Bislama. So this is a basket, it's a bag. Um, so if you say basket blong dog, that means a basket for dogs. So blong also means for. Um, this which is wrapped around me is called the calico. These fabrics which are used to make clothing like this or dresses is called the calico. So if I say basket blong calico, that means a bag for calicos, like a bag that you would use like to carry calicos. Store blong beer, that would be a store for beer. Um, yeah. So blong is one of the is the most important word in Bislama. You need to understand how to use it. There are many different meanings of blong, and I only explained a few of the meanings. So blong actually isn't that common to use. Usually instead of saying blong, you say a shortened form of that word and say blo instead. So instead of nem blong mi, I say nem blo mi. Um, if I were to say like mi blong America, I would say mi blo America. It's just shorter, it's how most people speak. So that's something that you won't really learn on the internet and in textbooks, like the one textbook that exists for Bislama is blo. Use blo instead of blong. It's more fluent, more native. Um, like, the way to say um, him or he in Bislama is M. So if you were to say Blong M, like belongs to him or his, Blong M, you just say Blem. You put Blo and M together, Blem. So there are definitely contractions in Bislama as well. So, um, Long in Bislama um, is a word that is used to describe many different prepositions. So, to, at, on, and in. So if I were to say mi go lo store, that means I go to the store. If I were to say mi stop lo sandwich, that means I am like at the beach. Um, so long also, like instead of saying long, you can say lo instead. So most people instead of saying long will say lo. Especially in texting, like you'll see below and low. Um, it's just more more fluent, so I would recommend you use that. Ethnicity. How you, how do you denotate ethnicity? So for ethnicity, you can either say man or woman, and then the country. That's one way to say it. So, ma, so the way to say China in Vanuatu is China. So man China, that means a uh, Chinese man. Woman China, that means Chinese woman. If you say man Australia. Australian men. Woman, Australia, Australian woman. Um, or the second way to say like an ethnicity is to say man blong or woman blong and then the country. So man blong jaina would be um, Chinese men. Woman blong jaina, Chinese woman. Um, or man blo jaina, like blow instead, or woman blo jaina. Um, man blo franis, woman blo franis. Man blo America, black man blo America. Um, Black man America, man Mexico, woman Mexico, um, yeah. So to say black person, you say black man. To say white person, you say white man. Um, or like to say Asian person, you could say uh, man Asia or man blo Asia. Um, so some important words to know in Islama. Water, water. Dog, dog. Cow, buluk. Pig, big. Volcano, 
Folkeno or Volkeno. Some people pronounce the V like an F. Folkeno. House, house. Bag, like a bag, is basket. God is Papa God, or you could just say God. Jesus, Jesus, or Jesus Christ. Sun, sun. Moon, moon. So there's a lot of similarities. Island, island. Um, to have, like to have is God, God. So if I say like, I have three kids would be me got three pikinini. Me got three pikinini. I have three kids. Um, to say there are, you say igat. So if I were to say like, there are four, four kids, I would say igat four pikinini. Igat four pikinini. To talk or to speak is tok tok. Mi tok tok franis. Mi tok tok spanis. Mi tok tok Chinese language. Um, uh, mi tok tok language bro China. Um, and is mo. Or is o. Now is now ya. Food is kakai. So um, some of these words are like Polynesian. Some of them are Melanesian from different languages in Melanesia, Polynesia, English, French, it's all a mix. So kakai is food. Kakai also means to eat. Payim, payim is to pay or to buy. With them is with. With them is with. Australia is Australia. China is China. Close up long, close up long is close to or nearby. Um, so me stop close up long, me stop close up long sand beach as I'm near the sand beach, I'm near the beach. Um, Narafala, Narafala is another. Narafala is another. Plenty is full up. Plenty is full up. Um, angry is cross. Mi cross tu mas. Mi cross tu mas. I'm, I'm angry. Um, I'm very angry. Happy is glad. Mi glad tu mas. Mi glad tu mas. I'm very happy. Suppose is if. Like, suppose me go to the store. That means if I go to the store. Olsem. Olsem is like. Olsem. Kind of like an Olsem wanem. Um, it means like or similar. I'm like, so I say a lot of times when people ask me what my name is, I say Yomi Olsem Yumi. Yomi like Yumi. Because the way to say we in Islama is Yumi. So I say Yomi like Yumi. That's what my name is. To make a word plural, you add ol in front of it. So if I were, if I were wanting to say the bags, I would say ol basket. If I were wanting to say the calicos, ol calico. The, the kids, ol piquinini. Um... And know that Bislama is not a politically correct language. It's not English, so don't get offended when people say a word that's like offensive in English but isn't offensive in Bislama. It's a totally different language. People relate to the words differently. So just know you're going, in, going to a different country and they say different words for different things. So pronouns. Pronouns are very tricky, but I will explain the basics for you. So I is me. You is you. He or she is M. We, so this is where it gets tricky. So, Bislama has like 20 pronouns, but English only has like six. So I realized that I should edit the way that I describe pronouns for you because the way that I was describing them before is very outdated. I met with a friend in the cafe so he could look over my video and tell me things that I should like edit. And he told me that the way that I was describing pronouns, the pronouns that I was using are very outdated and aren't used as much today. So an older person would understand what I'm saying, but someone of the newer generation would not necessarily understand what I'm saying all the time. So Bislama is a language that once again, like it's, it's starting to be written down but most of the languages in Vanuatu have not historically been written until recently and have developed writing systems, right? So with languages that don't have written systems or are just mainly oral, things can change very quickly. Vocabulary, grammar can change very quickly within the language. So within a few decades, the way you pronounce things in words can change very quickly. So I'm going to be explaining this to you. I'm so wrapping my head around the new way that I've been told to say pronouns. Um, but, so there's like over 20 pronouns used in Bislama. You only need to use like around five, but this is a good way to say pronouns. 
So there's we inclusive and there's we exclusive. Um, we inclusive, that means that the person I'm talking to is included in the we. We exclusive means that the person that I'm talking to is not inclusive, is not included in the we. So if I say me and Sarah, I'm talking to Sarah, and I'm like, me and you, we are going to the store. We, but not them, we're going to the store. That's you, me. Um, so since it's me and Sarah, you have to denotate that it's two people. So me and Sarah, we is you, me, too. Sorry, someone's walking down the stairs. So me and Sarah, we is you, me, too. You, me, too, go lo store. So we two are going to the store. But if it's me, Sarah, and Bobby, and I'm talking to both of them, and I'm like, we are going to the store, it'd be you, me, three, go lo store. Um, but if it's more than two people, it has to be more than two people, and you want to be indescript, like, oh, it's two or more people, and the people you're talking to are going with you, you would say, you, me, Go lo store. So Yumi is plural to more than two people. Yumi go lo store. The way to do we exclusive is here's me and here's Sarah. So I'm talking to Sarah, but I'm like me and Rachel, a girl over here who I'm not talking to, me and Rachel, we are going to the store. We are going, but not you, but I'm speaking to you. We are going, hey Sarah. We're gonna go to the store, but not you. Would be mi fala, so mi fala go lo store, or so mi fala go lo store. So, but you have to be descript once again. So to say, since I'm talking me and Rachel, we're going to the store. It's two of us. So we are going to the store, but not you. It's mi tu fala, so mi tu fala. So fala is basically fella. So um. Us two fellas are gonna go to the store. So mi tri fala is we three are going to the store, but not you. So mi tri fala. Um, or another way to say it is mi fala tu or mi fala tri. Um, but you don't have to say it that way. That's another way to say it. Um, so to make it easy, mi tu fala, mi tri fala. Or to say two or more people, like more than two people are, are gonna go to the store, you say mi fala. So mi fala is more than two people. That's the plural way to, to describe it. It's very confusing, I know. So it gets a little confusing. Then the way to say they in Bislama is olgeta. So not like English at all. Olgeta. Olgeta. And it's the same with um, you. So if I'm saying there's you two, it's you two fala. If I say you three, it's you three fala. And if I say for like, for they, like they is olgeta in general. But if I say like those two people, it's tufala. If I say those three people, it's trifala. But in general, if you just want to say they and you're not giving any specific number, it's olgeta. If you want to say um, me and you, it could be me and you five people, then me and you 17 people, and you don't want to denotate number, you just say you me. If you want to say me and these 17 people, you just say me, uh, me fala. Me and these five different people, me and these two different people, but you're not denotating number, you just say me fala. So just simple, you only need to really use five pronouns. You don't need to use all 20. And people will just understand you. But sometimes you may need to understand the difference if someone says something. So something about um, Bislama is when you're using a sentence, you can't just say these pronouns and then a verb um, so you need a predicate marker except for these these three pronouns don't need a predicate marker so these three pronouns are the only pronouns that don't need a predicate marker me you and you me those three don't need a predicate marker but all of the other pronouns in Bislama need a predicate marker so the predicate marker is pronounced e it's the letter I but it's pronounced e so if you were wanting to say like um, like, you can't say like, mi fala go lo store. You have to say, mi fala y go lo store. Mi tri fala y go lo store. So you need to put like the e after the pronoun. But when it's just you singular, me singular, or you me, like just nondescript you me, then you don't need to put the e. But the only difference like is when you use olgeta, you need to put 
you use two two things that indicate the predicate marker. So when using Olgeta, you can't say Olgeta Golo store, and you can't say Olgeta e Golo store. You have to say Olgeta Ol e Golo store. So you have to put Ol and then the e. So Olgeta Oli Golo Sand Beach. Olgeta Oli Krostumas. They are very angry. So Olgeta Oli. So you must put Ol e after Olgeta. So that explains the pronouns. So I'm going to explain a few tenses. I'm not going to explain all of them. But in general in Bislama, you don't really need to indicate tense when you're speaking, but you can. So to say that you're doing something, you use the word stop. So if something's current. So if you were to say, Me stop walk about close up los sand beach. That means I'm walking close to the sand beach. Uh, close to the beach. If you were to say like, um, Me stop kakai. That means I'm eating. Um, but stop also can indicate where you're at. So if I say like, me stop lo sand beach, that means I'm at the sand beach. I'm at the beach. Um, so future tense. So um, there are many different ways to say the word indicating will in the future, but I'm just gonna give you um, the basic form. So the two basic ways of saying will are by and bambai, and you put it before the pronoun. So you would say like, bambai yumi kakai. That means we will eat. So you put the the will before the pronoun. So it's technically like will I eat. So I will eat will be will I eat. So bambai uh mi kakai. I will eat. Um or you could say bai mi kakai. I will eat. So you can use bai or bambai. I usually say bai cuz it's shorter, but I have heard a few people say bambai. So slang. This is the end of the video, but I'm going to teach you some slang. So in Bislama like to say with that like you're pleased with something or something is really cool is you'll say number one number one like number one number one there's actually a toilet brand called toilet paper brand called number one but you just say like if i were talking to my touch my truck driver and i'm like oh vanuatu is a very nice country he'd be, be like number one number one vanuatu number one it doesn't mean vanuatu is number one or he thinks vanuatu is the number one country it just means that he thinks like yeah it's good it's amazing if i were to say Wow, this food is good. Like, good fala, good fala, good tumas. Um, like, the person who cooked it may say number one. Or the other people eating may say number one. Like, oh, it's cool, it's dope, it's amazing. Um, yeah, like, this beach is really nice. Number one. It doesn't mean it's the number one beach in the world. It just means, like, yeah, it's cool, it's amazing, I agree. Yeah, it's dope, it's fire. Um, then another slang is to say tough. So, so, so to say like, oh, tough tumas, that means like, very cool, very amazing, very dope. Like, um, like, basket blow you, tough tumas, like back your bag, like tough tumas, very cool, very dope. Like tough tumas, like it's amazing, like it's fire, very cool. Like I would comment on someone's post like tough tumas, like, like that's cool, that's amazing. There are a lot of dialectal differences in Bislama, like for instance, like some people will say Folkeno instead of Volkeno. There's a village on Efate Island where I'm at called Eton, like E-T-O-N, and a lot of the villagers will say Etol, Etol, like with an L at the end, like Etol. Um, yeah. Um, like I, I know a little boy named like Rexon, like R-E-X-O-N, but they pronounce his name like Rexol. Um, I'm trying to think. Like a lot of people will pronounce their P's as B's, like instead of a pig, like instead of saying pig, some people will say big. So it just depends on where you're from. And also the last thing I'm gonna say is in Bislama you roll your R's. So you, the, similar to the way that you roll your R when there's one R in Spanish, um, like instead of saying like, like when you say I'm angry, you say uh, micros. You, you don't say like micros, micros. You say micros, micros, micros. Micros, micros tumas. So you roll the R a little bit. Micros, or um, friend blong me, friend blong me. So you, the friend, 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 friend. It's not friend. It's not like friend, friend blong me. It's friend blong me, my friend. So you roll your R's a little bit. But that's it for this video. Sorry for the length. I just wanted to give an in-depth video of how to speak in Bislama. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you want to have any more informative videos on how to speak Bislama. But thank you so much.